So in question six of this paper, we've been told that the ninth term of an arithmetic series is three and that the sum of the first 21 terms in the series is equal to 42. And using these two bits of information, we have to find the first term and the common difference of the series. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So using the first bit of information, we've been told that the ninth term of the series is equal to three. So if we go ahead and just write the general equation for the nth term of, of an arithmetic series, um, we have a n is equal to the first term plus n minus one d. And so we know that a nine would be equal to the first term a one plus nine minus one, which is eight. So nine minus one D. So we can substitute our values in. So we have three is equal to a one plus eight D. And that is one equation that we have here. Now, using our second bit of information, we've been told that the sum of the first 21 terms is equal to 42. So we can go ahead and use the sum of an arithmetic equation, which we know to be SN is equal to N over two times two A one plus N minus one D. So we can go ahead and substitute the values that we have. So we know that S21 is equal to 21 divided by two times two A one plus 20d and we can solve our value for here we have 42 is equal to 21 divided by 2 times 2a1 plus 20d uh, just simplifying this further what we get is 4 is equal to 2a1 plus 20d and we can simplify this even further to get 2 is equal to a1 plus 10d and this gives us our second equation so now we have two equations. We have three is equal to a one plus eight D and two is equal to a one plus 10 D. We can go ahead and solve this simultaneously. Since we have a one and a one on both terms, we can cancel these out, eliminate them both. And we're left with one is equal to minus two D and thus D is equal to minus a half. So we now know that a common difference is equal to minus and a half. And now we can substitute this this value in into any one of the equations that we have. Um, let's go with the bottom equation. So we have two is equal to a one plus 10 times minus a half. And so a one would then simplify down to seven. Hence solving this part. So in part B, we've been told that a second arithmetic sequence has the first term of minus 18 and a common difference of three by four. Now, it's also been told that the sum of this series is equal to tn and we now need to find the value of n such that tn is equal to sn where sn is the sum of our first arithmetic sequence so uh, remembering from part a we know that this general equation for the sum of, of an arithmetic sequence is just equal to n by 2 of 2a1 plus n minus 1d so this is all sort of the general formula that we use so for the first sequence we know that sn would just be equal to n by 2 of 2 times 7 minus a half times n minus 1 okay because we now know that the first term of the first sequence is 7 and that the common difference is minus half so using the same way we can find tn so tn would be equal to n by 2 of 2 times minus 18 plus 3 by 4 of n minus 1. Okay, so now we can go ahead and equate these two terms. So we get uh, for sn is equal to tn, we get n by 2 of 14 minus 0 0.5 n minus 1 would be equal to n by 2 of minus 36 plus 0 0.75 n minus 1. Go ahead and just block this off to help my working out well we know that n by 2 and n by 2 can be cancelled out so we're here left with 14 minus 0 0.5 n minus 1 is equal to minus 36 plus 0 0.75 n minus 1 we can go ahead and rearrange this equation essentially we get that 50 would be equal to 1.25 of n minus one. And then rearranging this further, we get that n is equal to 50 divided by 1.25 plus one, which gives us n as equal to 41. So the value of n at which tn is equal to sn is 
41.